Hey what's up everyone welcome back to another video my name is Lance and today we're going to be going over all the most effective ways to counter soakers in ASA. If you find yourself enjoying the video at any point make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload and you can get more of our content like this. With that being said let's get right into the video. The sponsor of today's video is Phantom Solos. Phantom Solos is the best solo 15x server that wipes on October 27th. Phantom Solo also has custom drops, events, and the best admin support and community to ensure you the best daddy experience. If you if you're looking for a great server to play before or after ASA releases, I highly recommend you checking out my friends over at Phantom Solos. So you can play with me and the over 4,000 members in the Discord. The link to their Discord will be in the description down below and the top pinned comment. And thanks again for Phantom Solos for sponsoring today's video. Alright, so with ASA right around the corner, the number one thing that we're going to have to worry about is countering soakers. Without having the common things like flamethrowers and net guns, countering them is going to be a whole lot more difficult. One way that you can do it is by pulling out a rocket launcher and shooting them off the back. At the beginning with people not having very good flak, this is going to be a very effective way of killing people off of their soakers. A more cheaper method to counter them is by using fence supports to block them in, making it so they can't move. The only way your enemies can counter this is by pushing up spam so you can't place any structures, or blowing up the fence supports themselves, but if you're in turret range, it's going to be extremely difficult for your opponents to do so. The best way to counter something once you have it trapped is to throw narc nades to knock them out. With gas masks being disabled, this is going to be a very effective way to counter people from soaking your base. And another really effective way to counter trikes is just by grappling the player off the back. Countering stegos is going to be a little bit more difficult because you can't really hit them off the back, but one thing that you can do is trap them with billboards. It's a very cheap and effective way of trapping stegos, and if your turrets are LOS by the billboards, they won't be able to soak while they're trapped. Shooting rockets at the stego will be far less effective because they take reduced damage while riding it, but it still could work to kill people off the back early game. With the moth being in ASA, I definitely think this is going to be the most effective way of countering soakers because you can simply pick it and run off with it and either drop it in lava to kill it or just take it somewhere where you can kill it later. Another effective method is putting a box on a Quetzal so you can't get hit off, going and picking people's soakers and either dropping it in the other side of your base or taking it away to kill it somewhere else. Next up on the list is going to be using the Karcha's spin ability to knock things off. Because we are in GCM mode in single player, I wasn't actually able to do damage to it, but it's definitely a very effective way of pushing tames off of mountains. Because hills have a very tight walk space, normally if you spin them like that, you can knock them all the way down to the bottom, forcing them to either have to walk it all the way up or leave. Another super effective way to counter any soaker is by shooting a chain bowl at it. You can also chain bowl erasers, making it the most effective way of stopping them in their tracks. Another really effective cheap method of countering soakers is by spamming bear traps everywhere so that way they either have to break it or walk over it to soak your base. Once their dino gets stuck in it, the only way to counter it is by interacting with it and holding the demolish button for I think it's like 10 seconds, but hopefully by that time they'll already be dead. Next up on the list we have racers. These are going to be the most difficult thing to counter because you can simply build a box over the top of it making it so it's really difficult to kill the rider off. But one thing that you can do is gate it in so that way it can't move. And then once you have it completely gated in, all you have to do is either blow up the box that the person's riding in, or you can narconate them because they're not able to run away. Using Thyla's and Karno's bleed effect to kill dinos when they're already trapped is another super effective way of killing them. Once you have the box broken on the racer, all you have to do is pull out a weapon to kill the player off the back. These are all the most effective ways of countering soakers for ASA. I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something new. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one.